But first, as UW police prepare to implement body cameras, the public weighs in on the policy. The UW Madison PD committed to bringing body cameras online this summer. Tonight they began a series of public discussions focusing on how to move that commitment forward. The night team's Matthew Simon tells us that includes answering how to balance public privacy, Matthew. And Michelle Eric, privacy part of the two key questions UW Madison's police chief wants the community to help answer as she prepares to arm her patrol officers with body cameras. How's it going? You're watching video from the test phase of the UW Madison Police Department's use of body cameras. We're both coming out at the same time. This basically clicks open, and the second it clicks open, it starts to record. UW Madison Police Chief Sue Reisling says she'd like to have any of the 10 UW officers on patrol consistently using the $400 cameras by summer, but the policy they'll follow is still a working document. What our community thinks is really important. When do they want to make sure we have them on and when do they want to make sure um, it's okay that we have turned them off. During the first two community dialogues at Union South, a small mixture of campus families seemed open to police video recordings. I am totally open-minded to it as long as the policies are transparent to me. But the deeper question seems to come down to limiting recordings based on where students live. If you're in a residential area uh, of a university housing facility, and how different is that? than if you're on Bascom Hill, which is very open, very public. As those attending viewed the video caught in public, they were surprised they could not always see faces clearly. How does the camera capture that if, if it's only really viewing above the shoulders and up? And sharing a concern with the police, how will this work under Wisconsin open record laws? But I do think that they should be allowed to be open record for, for if you're really trying to be have integrity and really show sh uh, full transparency between what's going on with the officer and how they interact with the public. And we did not hear much opposition tonight, rather questions trying to figure out how police cameras will work. But the chief's not actually sure if the summer deadline will be met because 3,500 police cameras are on back order right now. If you missed tonight's meeting or want to voice your opinion on this issue, there will be another public forum tomorrow at 2 o'clock on the third floor of Union South. All right, something we will continue to follow. Matthew, thank you.